Hey, welcome to my channel. We are doing things a little different today. It is actually nighttime. And you may be thinking, why am I doing a video at night? Well, the nighttime is when we need to see what I wanna talk with you about today. And that is up lighting or low voltage lighting. So today, tonight, actually, it's nine o'clock at night. Um, we are going to go and take a look at some houses with some up lights. And I want to talk through those and show you just how easy it is to put up lighting around your house and the enhancement it does for your curb appeal. Okay, I want you to see how soft and nicely lit this house is. They have up lights that are featuring key spots that they want to accentuate, and then they have one on the tree on the corner. Um, this is very subtle, but very appealing, and just adds the nighttime curb appeal that everybody is looking for. Here is another house right next door that they have down lights. So in their soffits, they have, they have the lights actually shining down. Um, and I love this look as well. Um, wouldn't be as easy to achieve, wouldn't technically be considered low voltage lighting, but you can see the difference between this house and this house really isn't that extreme. And you can, you can create what they have very easily in a DIY project. All right, let's go look at a few more. Here again, we're coming to a house that has the uh, down lights in the soffits. And it's beautiful, but not easily achievable unless you add them to actually your house. Um, there may be another way, but for the sake of this video, we're just gonna focus on the low voltage lighting. They've lined their driveway. They've um, put the low voltage lighting shining on their trees, lining the driveway. And then they also have them in key points along the house. So probably was put in when the house was, um, the shrubs were a little bit smaller, so maybe not so big. And you know, you do have to change your low voltage lighting around once you do have your plants grow in. And then here we have where they've just um, focused on a few key areas in their yard and then have just a few lights going up on their house. So that's also a pretty look. And here is a very subtle um, up lighting. Um, and you know, they just did the corners, the front door and a tree, and then it looks like a little wall. And it's just very pretty, not, not to light it up um, to show anybody a pathway, but you know, here's another option. And this one's really pretty. It's really nice and bright, accentuates the front. And I'm sure when they turn on their front porch lights, it's really, really pretty. But that's a really nice um, lighting display. So this house is, it is so pretty. They have the low voltage lighting all the way around the backyard as well. Um, I'll show you that in a minute, but they have tree lights. They have the lights right here. I don't know if you can see my finger, but that's on a wall. And then it's shining up on their house. It's just very tastefully done. It's a new landscape. So, you know, I'm, I'm sure that helps as well. Okay, and here's the back of that house. They have done a phenomenal job. They uplit the trees along the fence here. They did along their backyard. It's a visible backyard from um, each angle because they have this wrought iron fence, but um, this is just a well done display, um, well done up lighting and very tasteful, very subtle, but very nice. Um, and I really, really like it. I think they have done a phenomenal job. And as you can see, they've got just accents on some trees on the back of their house, um, trees in their backyard. Um, trees along the side and just really nicely done. 
This has been my favorite house for years and years and years. I just love it. Um, as you can see, they have the up lighting. They also have a spotlight on their roof above their um, front porch that is shining on the middle window. Um, and then they have a um, their tree on the side that has an up light and I don't I don't know why I love this house so much it's just so tasteful I think um and they haven't done anything fancy they haven't really accented any trees um so this just shows you a couple of different ways that you can actually create light on your house you're just you know the main reason for using the low voltage lighting or up lighting is to provide a sort of a spotlight to your house in the evening um, just to add that interest in the evening for people walking for people riding by it's just um, it just adds that extra touch and you know it does increase your property value or your home homes resale value I want to thank you so much for coming along with me on this adventure at night. Um, I hope that this gives you a good idea of what you can do at your home. Um, even if you just want to accentuate a tree or a front bed or a fountain in the front yard, um, up lighting is a beautiful way and a, a very inexpensive way to um, to provide that extra level of curb appeal. Um, I will tell you that there are now a lot of the solar lights that are out, pathway lights that are out, and um, you know, they, they are an inexpensive way to also create this. They aren't quite as um, powerful and um, nice as, I won't say they aren't nice, but you know, if you have the low voltage um, lights and the um, transformer and all of that, you know, you have it on a timer. Um, that is that is your true up lighting, um, low voltage lighting. And um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with solar. As a matter of fact, I love solar um, anything. I want to thank you so much for coming along with me today. I want to thank you for watching and I would love to hear from you. Um, what do you think of, of up lighting and low voltage lighting? And um, I hope that you have a great day whenever you are watching this and I hope that you enjoy your evening and I will see you again in a video very soon. Take care.